Kathleen and Trinity spoke to Acton and Awadosi town councils about a new organization to keep high-speed rail out. Juliet Wowdham with her concert in the park. Corral 126 crowned Darian Brinkley as queen. And Acton Chamber of Commerce put on another spectacular farmer's market where everything is fresh. So I know you guys down here have to worry about it near the freeway, but we're actually worried about losing homes and, and having to live with this monster. So uh, our new organization is called Canyons and Valleys of Acton and Abu Dulce. We'd like to open it up to everyone, and yet at the same time, practically speaking, since two of the routes go through Red Road the Mine Canyon, we're going to deal with that first, and we hired an attorney with that first. So we're not trying to close anybody out, but we have to be very, very practical. Um, the EIR is due to come out in December or January. Now it might get changed, but that's the way it is for now. So when you deal with an EIR, you have to deal with it in a very sophisticated, very specific, even scientific manner. It takes a lot of study. So I'll be sending out, and you know, you're, anybody's welcome to do this, to get studies on uh, the environment, on uh, what it's going to do to property values, uh, how big these structures gonna, are going to be, the amount of noise, and so on, under the Freedom of Information Act. So you can go ahead and do that on your own, but we'll be doing it for our area. It might include her, so please feel free to contact me. Uh, I'll be putting, I have a couple of cards tonight if you do want to contact. Uh, I was going to say something else, but, you know, senior. You know, another thing, too, is these tracks go underground. For instance, they're not just going through Red Rover Mine Canyon above ground. They're going to tunnel into the mountain, and some people on Crown Valley North are worried about their wells, what could happen. So that's another thing you can uh, send in for a study on. Wouldn't that also include blasting? I don't know. I don't know about how they go about drilling. Well, they tell. The problem is they bore you to change. Yeah.
job. You are a dancing diva. Here we have some fresh bread yeah. with plenty of flavors. We have multi-grain, raisin yeah. hazelnut, yes. pistachio raisin, olive bread. And what is this? That one it has inside chocolate, almond paste and custard. It's called Lefroy. Okay. This one it has inside almonds, almond paste and custard. Okay. Those are delicious. You have your blueberry cream cheese. And this is called the France Bakery? Katie Products. France Bakery. Very okay. France Bakery. Okay. Ooh, this looks delicious. What's this? Yep. That's blueberry cream cheese. The blueberry oh, cream cheese? Flies over here. I need to cover. Okay. Looks good. Okay. Alright. So we're bringing produce and fruit and things over here. And is this your first time coming to the farmer's market? No, we came last year. Oh, you came last year? We didn't start as early this year because we didn't have anything ready. But uh, they didn't start the market until early August last year. How's the farmer's market doing this year? Oh, so far it hasn't been as good as it was last year. Today seems to be busier so far, so hopefully it'll be good. Okay. Sure, sure. That's good. That's really good. I have a sample for you. That's a mild one. That's what I want. I'm a wimpy. You want wimp? <laughs> you want a wimpy one? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do I live? Mm. Well, you see right here, you see where it's in the traffic. You know the top of it. How do you want the top? How's that taste? Mm. That's delicious. And which one was that, Linda? Wimpy. Wimpy? That's uh, Mrs. Wild Willie's Wimpy Salsa. Wimpy Salsa. Mm. Mild. Mild. <laughs> or Wimps. <laughs>